In this video, we are going to be talking about the least squares problem. So it turns out that many real world problems involve solving systems of linear equations. And we can write those systems in the form A times X equals B for some matrix A. These linear systems don't always have solutions. However, we can still try to find an X such that A times X is as close to B as possible. Now we measure the closeness of two vectors by looking at the magnitude of the difference of those vectors. Smaller the magnitude of b minus a times x, the closer those two vectors are to each other. The task of finding an x that makes the magnitude of b minus a times x as small as possible is called the general least squares problem. We use the term least squares because we're trying to minimize the magnitude of b minus a times x. And this magnitude is the square root of the sum of squares. So essentially, we're minimizing the sum of those squares. So here we have the formal definition of a least square solution to a linear system A times X equals B. If A is an M by N matrix and B is a vector in RM, then a least square solution of A times X equals B is a vector X hat in RN such that B minus A times X hat is less than or equal to B minus A times X for any x in Rn. Before we talk about how to find a least square solution to the linear system a times x equals b, I want to recall a theorem that we've proved previously. In the best approximation theorem, let w be a subspace of Rm. For any vector b in Rm, let b hat be the projection of b onto w. Then b hat is the closest point in w to b in the sense that the magnitude of b minus b hat is less than the magnitude of b minus v for all v in w that's different from b hat. The best approximation theorem is going to help us find a least square solution to a times x equals b. Because what we want to do is make sure a times x is as close to b as possible. So that tells us that a times x should be the projection of B onto some subspace. Well, which subspace am I projecting onto? Well, looking at the definition of a least square solution and looking at these vectors here, A times X hat and A times X, both of those vectors belong to the column space of A. So what we'll want to do is project B onto the column space of A. So again, our goal is to find least square solutions to the linear system a times x equals b. That means we want to find vectors x hat in Rn such that a times x is as close to b as possible. That means when I look at the magnitude of b minus a times x hat, that's less than or equal to b minus a times x for any other vector x in Rn. Let w be the set of all vectors of the form a times x for any x in Rn. This is the collection of all linear combinations of the columns of A. That tells me that W is the column space of A. So now if I want to minimize the magnitude of B minus A times X, I want to find the vector in W that's closest to B. Well, according to the best approximation theorem, I know that the vector in W that's closest to B is the projection of B onto W. Let's call that projection B hat. Since b hat is in w, which is the column space of A, I know that the equation a times x equals b hat has at least one solution. And the solution to a times x equals b hat is exactly what we're looking for. It's a least square solution to a times x equals b. So we'll call that solution x hat. Again, we'll know that a times x hat equals b hat, and that is the closest vector to b out of all vectors of the form a times x. So a question that remains is, how do we find b hat? Well, I know that b hat is the projection of b onto w. But in order to do that projection, I would need an orthogonal basis for w. Now, I know how to find a basis for w because it's just a column space of A. And I can turn that basis into an orthogonal basis using the Gram-Schmidt process. But that takes a lot of work. Luckily, there's a way to find b hat without first finding a basis for the column space of A and then applying the Gram-Schmidt process. First note that the vector b minus b hat is orthogonal to W, which is the column space of A. Now suppose that we write A as a matrix with columns A1 through AN. 
then for any column AK, I know that the dot product AK dot B minus B hat has to equal zero because B minus B hat is orthogonal to the columns of A. Remember that this dot product can be written as AK transpose times the vector B minus B hat. So that is equal to zero. Since this relationship is true for all AK, we can write A transpose times the vector B minus B hat is equal to zero vector. Now when we distribute, we get A transpose B minus A transpose B hat equals zero, which means that A transpose B hat is equal to A transpose B. Now I'm going to replace B hat with A times X hat. Remember X hat is the solution to A times X equals B hat. So we get A transpose times A X hat is equal to A transpose B. So this tells me that if I want to find X hat, all I have to do is solve the system A transpose A times X equals A transpose B. Let's now look at an example. In this example, we have the linear system A times X equals B, where A is the matrix 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, and B is the vector 2, negative 3, negative 2. We're asked to solve this system if possible. If I want to solve the system, I want to make the augmented matrix A augmented with B. So that's 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, negative 3, 1, 3, negative 2. If I row reduce this, I get the matrix 1, 1, 2, 0, 1, negative 5, 0, 0, 6. I can tell from the row echelon form that this matrix is inconsistent. If I look at the last row of this matrix, this corresponds with the equation 0 equals 6, and we know that that's never true. So the matrix is inconsistent, which means that my system has no solutions. So the next best thing that we can do is find the least square solution to A times X equals B. That means I want to find the vector X hat such that A times X hat is as close to B as possible. From what we've just learned, if I want to find the least square solution, I want to solve the system A transpose A times X equals A transpose B. So that's the matrix 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3 times 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3 times X equals 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3 times B, which is 2, 3, negative 2. Doing the matrix multiplication, we get on the left 3, 6, 6, 14 times x equals, on the right we have negative 3, negative 10. So now if I want to solve this system, I would make the augmented matrix 3, 6, negative 3, 6, 14, negative 10, and row reduce it. This row reduces to 1, 0, 3, 0, 1, negative 2. So my solution is x hat equals 3, negative 2. This means that out of every vector in R2, the vector 3, negative 2, when multiplied by A, gets me closest to the vector B. Lastly, we might ask, what is the least squares error? Least squares error is how far you're off from the vector B. So it's the magnitude of the difference between B and a times x hat. So to find the least squares error, first I'm going to calculate a times x hat. So that's the matrix 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3 times the vector 3, negative 2. This gives me the vector 1, negative 1, negative 3. So next I want to take the difference between b and a times x hat. So that's the vector 2, negative 3, negative 2 minus the vector 1, negative 1, negative 3, and the result is 1, negative 2, 1. Lastly, to find the error, we take the magnitude of this difference. So that's the square root of 1 squared plus negative 2 squared plus 1 squared, which gives me square root of 6. So that's how you find the least square solution to a linear system a times x equals b. In our next video, we'll look at how having a QR factorization will make these calculations easier.